Hi, this is Glenda. I have been making silly cards because they wobble. Um, they're all wobble action cards, various degrees of success. Um, so what prompted this was I got some action wobbles and so I've been trying those. Years ago I bought these. They were seven dollars for the six little ones and four big ones and I never brought myself to use them because they were so expensive. So I opened the packet and I used some of those and this was the result with these. They're very very high. I, I don't like how high they are. They have fairly limited wobble and they started falling apart. I don't know whether it's because I've had them for a long time or if it's just lousy glue. They all came apart in different spots so I've glued them and they're holding at the moment. So uh, that's those. Um, I used my one of my wobble springs and it that's brilliant. I mean these, these are lovely to use. Um, so if you've got some of those that's nice and easy and fun. They're a, a plastic spring um, so you know they're quite crushable and they'll bounce straight back and great wobble action so I think they're a winner. If however you're on a tighter budget or don't have access to those these are all done with homemade springs. So here was my first attempt and there's a heap of tutorials on YouTube for all different ways to do these. Uh, well they're similar but different um, so I'll show you my variation in a moment. These ones are used double-sided foam tape on them and 26 gauge wire and they've got limited wobble. Um, so that was attempt number one and let's see I think this was my second attempt. I also used foam tape and the same gauge of wire and that one's better. Um, I don't know why. It was just a different foam tape but it's similar but that, that's quite satisfactory. Um, so then this is my final version where I've just used, I think I used, oh wait I'm getting confused. This is the second last and I used acetate and it um, is the thinner wire, it's 28 gauge. People either said 26 or they didn't have a clue what it was but I think I quite like the wobble on this 26 so 28 or 26 is fine. Sorry this is 28. It's got a good wobble um, and it's nice and thin on the back. I think I prefer that to the foam tape. Um, so that, that was a success. Um, you don't have to do a silly animal you can do a, a sentiment or something um, or a flower. It's. I decided doing this that any time you're going to use foam tape just give it a little thought can you use a wobbler instead and make it a bit of fun. I don't think I'd do it on a sympathy card um, but yeah there, there could be a lot of times we could use these and, and it's just not the first thing that comes to mind but gee they're fun to play with. Um, I wish I hadn't mounted that crooked now that I can see it. Um, so anyway I'll show you how I, I did these. Um, you just want, you can use paper to match your project or white paper or whatever you need. Um, it doesn't have to be anything special, it just depends if you're likely to see it. I'd, I'd use one that matches, you know, if you're going to be able to see down the sides, make it match. You want a little bit of double sided tape, it, a good quality tape I would suggest because it's got to hold the wire. Um, so this is the bare tape that I used recently and it, it is very strong. Um, so you're just going to put the tape on the back of your paper or if it's just coloured paper that doesn't matter which side does it. Um, this is a three-quarter inch circle punch. You can do it in circles or squares, anything you like. I hate the way these Stampin' Up! ones want to lock all the time. I think it's to do with punching upside down and where I put my thumb, but they're always trying to lock on me. So we've got two circles. 
uh, with our paper and double sided tape. Uh, a really tiny hole punch. Um, I don't know what size that would be. It's probably about as small as you can get. You could also use a um, pokey tool. So we're just putting a hole in each of our discs. Um, where did I put my wire? Oh, it's right in front of me. If I can find the end. Now you can wind it around anything you like that's round. I happen to have this which is designed for winding wire but you certainly don't need a special tool. You can use a thick pencil, um, I don't know, whatever you can find that's round. But you probably don't want it too small. Now if you do a few um, twists you can make a number of these at once. Obviously, sorry, don't mean to be saying the obvious but you never know what to say and what to leave out. So there's my coil. I'm going to scrunch it as much as I can on there and then take it off. Now you want to leave at least two full rings or three. It just depends on how much wobble you want to, to have there. So at least two full rings and then you want to snip it off so you've got two and a half. So, excuse the ink on my fingers. Um, depending which way it's rolling. <laughs> but yeah, so two full rings at least. And you can fiddle with these and make them bigger or smaller, obviously. So you just bend one end up a little bit not to have it skip over the desk. You're going to pull back the paper off your tape halfway. Don't pull it right off. You're going to poke the wire through from the paper side and then fold it down so you've got enough to stick. Fold your paper back over, your protective paper, and push it on, on firmly. Then you're going to take the other end and bend it up. Do the same thing, poke, sorry, pull back half the wax paper. Like that. Try not to have it stick to your thumb. Poke it through, fold it back down, fold the paper down. And there's your, your wobble spring. You can straighten it if you need to. I could probably afford to have one more twist in this one, I think. So then you just take your embellishment. Peel the wax paper off. Put them on. paper off and place it on your card. Oh, he's got a good wobble. And there we go. So, that's my very frivolous activity, um, but they, they are seriously fun. So, um, if you're looking for something a bit different, uh, to cheer somebody up, or for children, or whatever, action wobbles. Thanks for watching.